Alright guys, this is Gamblefish, and we're on a rice fields map, reporting live. Well, actually, okay, that's not true, I'm not reporting live. I thought I'd take a little time to teach you guys about micromanagement, is what I was going to say. But I'm not actually going to do that, because that's lame. Teaching people stuff sucks. That's why I don't like school. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> this is a small funds battle, and um, rice fields pre presents a pretty cool opportunity, because you know there's going to be a, a thing, right? So, on these maps, if you cross your fingers and pray that your opponent can't calculate funds, it's really easy to pretend like you have a big old army back here when you don't really have an army. Um, this is back when I was using a leadership general, so I was really... I couldn't use him just to like break through the spears and smash up the archers and stuff. And he had a pretty solid setup. He's got the Ari Ashigaru, Katana Samurai, some Lone Swords. If you had both Samurai, I probably would have taken um, some Bow Ashigaru instead, but whatever. And uh, this fucking white flag is driving me nuts, dude. Um, anyways. What the hell? Yeah, very funny. Uh, so. Okay, well, let's just get started. Um, so the idea with my general is I'm just going to chill over here in the woods and send my two cavalry over, because that's a typical opening move people make um, on a map like this when it's open fields. And I think... I sort of get the impression that he totally buys it, because if, if you if you assume that all I have is cavalry, then you form up a really defensive formation, and you just like, you're like, alright, I'll bust out some Yari Ashigaru, I'll make the swordsman on the side, so even if I get flanked, it's not so bad, and I'll have the archers in the middle, so at least I can shoot you when you pull out to do a new charge if you have my swordsman. And uh, that would be a really solid approach, but he's not really doing that. In fact, he's... Well, I don't really know what he's doing. Um, anyway, so I just keep my general back here, pretending like I have my guys all hidden. Haha, <laughs> look at my army hiding. I think I'm really clever, because I have hidden units, and you're not going to know where they are. Um, but I don't have any units. Um, okay. Uh, I wasn't really sure what this guy was doing, to be perfectly frank. Uh, he just sort of put his guys in columns, which is cool with me, I guess. But, uh, I, oh, I, I think I see why he's doing it now that I've, it's, I've already done the battle. I think he's trying to prevent the charge from really killing them, which is not, not a bad strategy. Uh, fortunately, great guard, especially when they're level 9 or 8 or whatever. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. Okay, that's pretty good. Played a little better than I thought. And then mixed up with swordsmen, so even if I charge the archers, he can kill them. Okay, that's not bad at all. Um, you see, this is why replays are nice. And he actually shot a bunch of my... not a bunch. Some of my guard got drove them off, so I sort of had to back off a little bit. Um, fortunately for me, while he was setting up his guys, the Yari Ashigaru in front didn't move, so he said his Lone Swords, he's like, hey, I can suck up a hit, right? Well, uh, not really. Um, <laughs> 55 charge is pretty devastating against anything, and against Lone Swords is even better. And since you tie up the archers just for a second, you only need to kill a couple and get them engaged in melee, and I got both of them engaged, and they won't shoot you when you're retreating, which is the biggest danger of charging in and out like that. Um, ends up killing about half a Lone Sword, that was pretty good, at the cost of, what, three guys? And while he's getting his guys back in formation, I decide to pull this dude around like that. Have my guy over here. He finally gets his archers. Oh, surprise. Hey, what's up? You got the Yari Cavalry guy. Um, I think he took me a little bit off guard by that. And I realized quickly that I probably should charge him. Uh, and, yeah, he got a... I think he killed some... Yeah, he killed a significant number of guys. It kind of sucked. But while he was doing that, as you... I sort of missed the setup to that. He ignored his general, so I got to go in and engage his general. Um, he then pulls all his guys back in, and I pull my general, my guy out. I didn't actually manage to kill his general. I got ten hit on him. While he's doing all that, the distraction this time was I'm bringing my general in. And um, he sort of realizes this and forms back up. And then I think he decided... No, I don't know. He didn't decide to do that. Um, he decided to go after my general in terms of like trying to snipe him and stuff like that. But... Uh, what the hell is going on over here? Yeah, you know, they got that surprise charge off on me, which really screwed my day up a little bit. I sort of didn't do the math on this battle. That's okay. Um, and this is when I get really happy, because this is exactly what you shouldn't be doing on a small battle like this, is spreading your guys out. Because uh, the minute you spread out, cavalry can take you down. I mean, if you if you hold up and, you know, you set lines and you don't move around, it sucks. You're going to get charged. It's going to really blow. But if you do it right, you can clear some guys out. You don't want to have a spread out unit of guys over here where you already actually get or can't react in time and I can get out of the way. Um, over here I was just distracting a katana samurai. But I mean, spread out like this, my general could probably take on this lone sword and in fact, uh, no, that's not what I did. Um, and you're going to lose control of something and here he forgot what his general was doing and I managed to catch up with him and the great guard make swift, swift work of any enemy cavalry. 
Once you're engaged, probably the worst thing you can do is run away because uh, hitting dudes from behind is basically an instant kill and uh, you're going to get your bodyguard really killed. The better idea is just to collapse everything here, but since you know you see these guys are spreading out, you engage them in melee. Engage these dudes in melee when you charge, have them pull out a little bit, and you can just wreck people. And even my general charges then hits their archers, and that was pretty much the end of this battle. Um, so my lesson here, yeah, he realized eventually that I didn't have any dudes left uh, hiding in the woods that whole time. The moral of the story here is if he had kept all his guys together, he might have been able to do really well. If that general hadn't gotten hit, I mean, his guys didn't rout because they didn't actually kill the general. But you spread your dudes out like this, and you are just liable to get flanked. And uh, I mean, like, look at this. He's spread out, and he's still managing to do some serious damage with those bows, but not enough to make a difference. And uh, eventually, the morale hits from being flanked all over the place, uh, being tired from the long, drawn-out combat of me coming in, coming out, and stuff like that. It was just too much for him. And eventually... All those guys, chain reaction, they run away. And so, if you're, I guess this actually sort of was a little less than micromanagement. The best way to micro is not necessarily to sneak around the holes or whatever like that. It's just sort of like create the holes by, by hitting, pulling out, creating things like that. And if your opponent knows what he's doing, tough shit, you just got your ass kicked by a rank one. If he doesn't know what he's doing, you can break apart a formation even if it's pretty tightly packed in there. Now, if he was hiding in the trees the whole time, I probably would have just gotten destroyed. But you never know. If you're hiding in the trees the whole time, you also can't react as well when things hit you because your dudes are in the trees. So um, This actually was, even with his guys spreading out, this ended up being pretty close because I'm kind of a dumbass and I got a bunch of my guys killed. But luckily, rallying and inspiring and the fact that uh, light, uh, great guard are just the coolest.